Welcome back everyone. In this section, we will learn how to build scheduled notifications and we will start by creating a scheduled Azure function to send status emails. So going back to our function app, we can select add and then choose timer trigger. We will give name for our function and then in here it configures the job to run every five minutes. This is called a cron expression and we will explore it more in the coming lecture. So let's keep it as it is for now. Then we hit create and here is our trigger. So in here the trigger will run normally and in this if condition you can handle any running late timer for some extra work or anything you need to handle in that case. So before we edit this code, I updated the orders collection and added to the documents in the collection fields for the ship flag to be set to true when the order is shipped and shipped notified flag to be set to true if the email was sent to the users to tell them that their order was shipped. And same thing for delivered and delivered notified flag to keep track of the delivered status. You have lots of different approaches to implement this, so I am giving you basic ideas so you are able to easily add your own business conditions and architecture. So going back to our function, I added this code and we will also use send grid to send the email, but this time we will not use the output binding, but instead we will directly install the npm package for send grid here and see how we can work with that as well. So in here you just write npm install at sendgrid slash mail. Then I included here the package and the API key which I added in the config.js as we do with all our configurations. I also included Cosmos DB configuration and the includes here as we did in the previous functions because we will need to update the database when the shipment notification is sent and we will need to set the flag to true. So first I read all the orders from here. You can also make it more efficient to query only the order with the ship notified flag is set to false. But in here we will try to check this condition in this loop over here. And I created an array to add the emails we will notify. And I check if the order is shipped and was not notified before, I will set the flag to true with a replace method like this. I call item with the ID and then replace it with the modified item. And then I add the email to the array. Then I configure a message object like this. And in send grid here, it has an option to send multiple emails for only one command. So I will be able to add all the emails in the two field here, but each email will receive its own individual copy without the others listed in the two field. So I added all the list of emails in the two field here and just called the method send multiple. So let's try it out. So if I get back to the database, I will see that the ship notified flag is now set to true. So we will not notify these users again about their order being shipped. And I received an email saying that my order is shipped. So now that we know how to create and implement timer trigger function, 